that's it. We're live. Another one. It's another episode. Personable. Thank you. Thank you for all. Tongue tied right now. Thank you for all who are joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, so before I get started with today's episode, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I just want to give a shout out to you know it's it's a really good shirt day today. As you can see, I have a Stone Cold Steve Austin shirt on. 100% proof, and at the bottom it says, I don't know if you can see it, but it says Rattlesnake, so it's a really cool shirt, um, it's really interesting about this shirt is that this, last week made one year that I wore this shirt for the very first time, it was at Madison Square Garden, um, some consider the mecca of the WWE, uh, and why was it so special, I mean, they haven't been, um, I think it was over 10, 15 years they hadn't been in Madison Square Garden for a Monday Night Raw. And even more so, that Stone Cold Steve Austin was there. And it was an incredible time. I was with my friends Wilfredo, Joel, Josh, and we all had a great, great time. Of course, that was last year. That was before all this is going on. So before fans were even, you know, now the fans aren't allowed really in the stadiums and the arenas. It's, it was really good to basically enjoy that before stuff hit the fan, so, I'm just, you know, I just had to, you know, you know, I'm really excited that I'm wearing this shirt again, it just makes me feel good, it makes me, th you know, think of times of past, and, you know, just being a wrestling fan is just really, really dope, you know what I'm saying, it's really cool, and who I'm gonna have on right now is another wrestling fan, and this man is a guy, he, not only is he a wrestling fan, but I have rapped with him, he is a phenomenal rapper, he is a great wordsmith, uh, he has his own comic book company, the guy's doing so much creatively, he's really an inspiration, and I'm so happy I could talk with him, pick his brain, and we could just talk about creativeness, and just have a great time, so without further ado, my boy, Kalani, alright, let's, let me wave at him, alright, get the formalities out of the way, and, let me see here, Invite him. Just a few minutes. We're about to go live. Yeah. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? You don't see me? We're going to work on the connection. Oh, oh, well, we're good. Are this is a wrestling. This, this is a wrestling <laughs> attire theme the show right now, and I'm loving it. Look at the oh, come on, dude, come <laughs> on, look at this. So what this is, right? <laughs> that is Taker, and uh, and mankind. Yo, so it's a bootleg event tee of the Hell in a Cell when 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 mankind got tossed. In my dude, my where did you? Where did, that does not look like a WWE shop thing. Where did you get that nah, dope nah, ass nah. shirt? Yo, so my, my nephew makes uh, bootleg wrestling tees, and he gets, like, like a dude that, like, knows how to, like, design shit, and knows, like, graphic yeah. designs, and fucking designs the shit out of them and makes, like, these, like, fire-ass wrestling tees. Like, bro, I don't even buy WWE t-shirts anymore because of this guy's, like, even the hat that I'm wearing right now is a fucking, is an Owen Hart hat. <laughs> <laughs> if I hold Owen 316. Yeah, and then over here on the back it says, uh... <laughs> I just broke your neck. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Well, I mean, yeah, for, yeah. for those who don't know, Owen Hart, Stone Cold, it was SummerSlam 97. Yeah, yeah. Owen did the, the pal driver. I mean, he didn't, mm -hmm. you know, he didn't fully close his legs to protect all. And then, you know, the whole thing yeah, was yeah. Austin breaking his neck. Yeah, but, yeah. Which, dude, which, cool. which ended up cursing, which ended up cur cursing Owen Hart. Yeah. Dude, it's crazy. Like, I think that, right? And I go, wow, that's fun. Like the yeah. man died, like the same, like, and it's, it's it was a neck thing. It's just weird, dude. Yeah, did you? Um, see, I'm sure you probably saw the the dark side of the ring then, right? Um, I saw. I didn't see. I saw the Benoit one. I didn't see his. I didn't see the Owen Hart. I'm, oh. I've been meaning to do it. I got to catch up on it. Okay, so then after you watch that, then hit me up. I got, I got something for you that that that's like fucked up, but um. Okay. It, no. No. It, it, yeah. It, it would be like it, it would be weird to explain to you. That's why, like, I would rather you watch it than and then um, hit me back and then you know what I'm saying. I could show you this, the, the, uh, give you this thing. It's, it's from that night. It's actually like really fucked up. But um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 
Yeah, man. Let, let me let me add. Do you know? Like, I heard the backstory. So you know whose idea it was for Owen to propel down, right? You did you hear the backstory about that? Uh, yeah. So in the dark side of the ring, they go into the into the whole thing of it. They go into everything from the people rigging it. Supposedly, they were supposed to be the best company, the best riggers in the world, and they actually weren't. the The clip that was holding him was like used for boats, and it had, <gasps> a, and the thing had an instant. Uh, like an instant thing, like it, like you could pull it in for a quick release or whatever. But the thing was literally so they and ben, um, Owen Hart's wife shows the shows the, uh, the 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 hook that was holding him, which basically, like I said, was for boats. So um, and all it took for that to release was six pounds of pressure. So think about <laughs> so think about how big how big you know what I'm saying Owen Hart was. You know, so the clip that was holding him only needed six pounds of pressure to release. So that's why, so that's why, you know, what happened to him happened. Yeah, it's terrible. (laughs) That's a terrible way to go. Oh, that's heartbreaking, dude. Oh, wow. Yeah, I heard, like, Vince Russo had, like, the idea, because it was Sting's people or something. Yeah, they were trying to, yeah, they were trying to make fun of Sting. They were trying to, like, so they wanted, um, because he was the blue blazer, so they wanted him to kind of just be like, he was supposed to like get in the ring and then release and then trip right after, like so. Oh, okay. Kinda, like so, it was like during the Monday Night Wars and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Damn, dude! All, all because of that freaking, all because of that rivalry, dude. It's like, yeah, that's... man. It's it's really fucked up. It's it's heartbreaking when you watch the the documentary and see his wife talk about it and everything. Yeah, yeah cause his wife. Is not she does uh, to this day she wants nothing to do with the company. Oh yeah, 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 dude. But, but yeah, but then when you see the dark side of the ring, once you see that, it it, it it'll all make sense as to why. And I and I agree with them. Yeah, no, and I get where she. I mean, that's she lost her husband. Mm-hmm. Bottom line, she lost her husband, and her kids. Mm-hmm. So will he ever be in the Hall of Fame? Mm-hmm. That is yet to be no. seen. You don't think so? Nah. You don't think so at all, right? No, they said no. That they have that, right. that yeah. they will that they will not. Um, they said in their words was, um, we will not have uh, Owen Hart go into their Hall of Fame, to into the Hall of Fame of a company that killed him. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so yeah, that, that kind of... Yeah, that's that's never happening. <laughs> that kind of seals it, dude. Wow. Yeah, pretty Let much, me, man. Do you remember when that night happened? So, we're, we're, we're like, we're the same age. So, I was like 11, 12, around there. Do you remember hearing about that? I, to be honest, I wasn't watching wrestling at the time, but I remember hearing about it. Okay, so I, okay. So I wasn't, so I wasn't even a wrestling fan at the time, but I remember like you know, um, hearing the Owen Hart story and how fucked up that was. But, yeah. And then I remember like friends and people saying, "Oh, it happened live on TV," and blah blah blah. And yeah, and it, it, it didn't happen live on TV. It you blacked know? out because yeah. my cousin, my cousin who he's older than me, he was watching it and it just it it blacked out. Mm-hmm. And the people who were there, unfortunately, obviously they saw it. I remember, I remember back back in the days with pay per view, and it was like the scramble screen, mm-hmm. and you can hear, but you can't see. That's how I found out. So I would like at least listen, right? And like my mom didn't want to order it, and at least I would listen to it. And I could just remember Jim Ross doing the announcement, like you know, unfortunately, be as an eleven, twelve year old dude. I'm like, ah, oh, like, yeah. and they're like, he unfortunately passed away. He announced it. I half an hour. After they were like, yeah. JR, go ahead. Yeah, and- so it, it, it's, it's fucked up because they, they, they continued the show after. You know what I'm they saying? They did so, continue the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then, so when he was announcing it, he was, they were literally like, they were literally like 10 seconds before going on, on, on national television. So as he's like announcing, you know, the death, he literally just heard it like maybe 10 seconds before announcing it. You know, like, yo, it, it, the, the dark side of the ring thing goes really deep into it, man. It goes really deep nah, into dude, it. Nah, dude, I'm on it. I'm yeah. on it. Yeah, like, um, I got to watch it and get back to you on that. Yeah, you know what? Well, anything, <clears throat> then, you know what? Then I'll just, like, spoil it now, man. Um, so, no, like, I mean, so, yeah, I'm going to watch uh, it anyway. Yeah, so, what, so when he fell, it was in between. Um, they were showing the video package, and you know how how when you're live at WWE, they show those video packages, and they'll black out the ring, so you focus yeah. on the t- you know on the Titan Tron and everything. So while mm-hmm. that so while that was happening, that's when he was you know a, you know co- supposed to like you know kind of stay there, you know hook on and then kind of stay there 
and then you know as all like the you know the pageantry of everything of the you know of of people you know entering the ring and all that that's when he was supposed to ascend down so essentially he was supposed to be hanging there for a little while for a little bit of some time up until like you know the entrance and all that so he when he fell he fell in between like like that like inner commercial thing so while oh, okay. the, so, yeah so while the pay per view is on is in like while like the English is going off, W uh, on Spanish commentary they actually stay on and they talk during those those videos and they and they kind of I guess they translate them or whatever. Oh. So so there's a clip. It's not even a clip. It's really audio from the pay per view of of the Spanish broadcast of that night, and you hear. You hear the Spanish announcers talking, and then you hear him stop and go, "Oh my God, I, oh, I like no!" And then you know you, hear, and then you hear the thud uh, of which is basically Owen Hart. Oh damn it! So, dude. Yeah, here in the oh. ring. So yeah, 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 man. The shit is like terrible to <laughs> to hear. It's not something like I don't know. It's terrible because you know and he's like, "Oh my God!" Like you hear him like talking in Spanish, like "Oh, like oh no," like you know, like. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. reacting to like yeah, someone yeah, yeah. dying. You hear, yeah, the... you hear, yeah, you hear like Carlos Cabrera, the guy, you know, the, the yes. popular mm -hmm. one. That's the one that was talking. You hear him. He's like, "Oh my god!" And he's like, you know, reporting it. And he's like, "No, like, yo, like somebody needs to go help him." Like t saying it in Spanish. So yeah, man, it's wild. It's wild to listen to. Wow, dude, mm. that's fucking heavy. Um, yeah, yeah, man, my bad. I just fucked up the vibe. <laughs> Nah, dude. They, they, you can only go up. You can only go up from here, bro. Yeah, right. <laughs> you had to wear that hat, bro. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> I like. I like that hat, though. Damn it, I yeah. like it. I'm, I'm, I'm conflicted. Yeah, right. Let me, I, let, let me just stick on for the rest of this a little bit more. So, when did you start watching it? When did you like? Yo, this is. I, I love this. This entertainment. When, so, when? so my homie Geo, shout out to, to my guy Geo. Um, mm -hmm. One day I was chilling with him, and I think. Um, we were watching Raw, maybe? And I was just chilling with him, and he was just watching wrestling. I'm like, yo, son, you watching wrestling? And blah, 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 whatever, whatever. And then, <laughs> um, so the episode is the, the episode that I saw. I remember it vividly. It was the, the corporate ministry where they tied up motherfucking, they tied up Austin to the, to the Taker cross. And then, mm -hmm. and then they had the, they had the, uh, this, uh, Vincent was in the Druid. It was dressed as a Druid. And yeah, yep. yeah, mm -hmm. they got, and, and Austin was like bad, and I was like, "Yo, what the?" Hell? I was like, "Yo," and like, <laughs> like right from there, I was drawn. And then the next week, I saw it, and then yo, know, and then I saw Raw next next week, and Austin revealed not Austin, uh, Vince revealed himself as the as the leader of the corporate ministry. It was me, Austin. And, and yeah, exactly. It was me all along. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so that was that was my entry point, man. And ever since then, like, I was hooked in, you know, ECW. Yes, you weren't that far. So when you said that you weren't watching wrestling with the Owen Hart thing, you're not that far off. Yeah, yeah. That was all, I, you were yeah, not that yeah. far off anyway. Yeah, I, I would say, like, maybe, like, a couple months after Owen died. Okay. That's what that was, yeah. Yeah, because um, by that time, while I was watching it, that was when, like, WWE was, 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 was killing WCW. So... <laughs> I didn't even, yeah, I didn't even watch like WCW like that in its popularity. So the only thing that I remember, I used to always watch the first hour of Nitro because because yes, I'm I because I'd be waiting, I'd be waiting for Raw to come on. So yeah, <laughs> I did the <laughs> so, same shit. So you know, but the the greatest thing about that like first hour of Nitro was like, yo, they put all the all the cruiserweights and all of that like in the beginning. So yo, you were still you were seeing like like. Rey Mysterio matches and and Rey Mysterio without the mask. That's that's the best Rey Mysterio without the mask. But, yep, yeah. the baby face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you know you're seeing like the filthy animals and, and like Vampiro going at it and like yeah, you know what I'm saying. You're seeing like Raven and and, and like you know what I'm saying. You're getting all that like like that good wrestling in, 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 from back in the day in the beginning in the first hour. So I got my like WCW feel from there and then from there it was like yeah, it's time for Raw. It's you know that was I used to sit and watch every every waking minute of Raw. I don't do that now. But what, okay, Rook, you know what? And funny you said you don't do that now. And mm. the reason I don't really do that now, and a lot of people, maybe yourself included, is because we have the internet. I don't have to because I can get 
all my information are off the YouTube clips. To be, I get honest, that the, to be honest, man, they, they spoil it. They make it easy for that because they spoil it. They, they tell you what happened on Instagram. So <laughs> they do it for, for the ratings, too. So they say, oh, so-and-so is making a comeback. They go, oh, this is going to draw them in on Monday or Friday, whenever. Yeah. And it's kind of like, dude, I, I miss like, the, um, the surprise. Yeah, I, I, the wrestling I do. Is, I, the pop. Yeah, I miss the surprise, but you know what I miss too, man? I miss the vignettes, man. <laughs> no, the vignettes. Miss, yeah, I miss the vignettes. <laughs> they haven't had a good yo. You know who the the, a, the best vignette that, that that they had in a long time was um the John Cena and Bray Wyatt, where they used the where they used the Eminem joint in the. Dude, in, in the, <laughs> the I kid you, that's probably the best. top, top maybe top three promos. Yeah, in my opinion, of all time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I remember. Was, yeah, I remember seeing that, that going to Extreme Rules. You were at Extreme Rules, right? When for, for the cage for, match for, for for yeah for Shield and, and then for Shield and Evolution. Woo! You were there. I was there, man. I was there. You know, yeah, bro. I, rem I remember seeing you guys. I remember. I think I. I remember seeing G Kid, and I think um, Frank was there too. And I believe you were there also, man. But like, it was the three of us. He did say he said that you were there. And we were looking, but you know, so freaking fast. And we're yeah, just yeah. Like, ah, yeah, yeah. And I know we ended up having like a quick like run in um, towards the end, man. But I remember, man, that, that yeah, that towards extreme, the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that extreme rules. I remember I went to buy a t shirt and I missed like the shield walking right by me by like a couple of seconds, man. Oh, where you saw the shield for like in person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't get to see them. Like, oh, I missed so them bad. coming off, like, the elevator and all of that, man. Gotcha. So, and I was, so when I came back, I snapped, like, a, like, a, like, a, like I did, like, a selfie. Uh, not There's even no. a selfie. Like, I just took a picture of them in the al in the alleyway and everybody just talking shit to them and shit. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. That match was classic, though, yo. I, I, gotta go, I might want to go back and rewatch that tonight, man. I'm thinking, was that? No, that wasn't. That was the month before they, they disbanded, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Payback, they, payback was, payback the last was that. Yeah, payback Correct, was after, yeah. and then right after payback, that's when they did the split. Man, terrible, man, terrible. It was, it was horrible. It was one of those. You see, like you said, I mean, it's one of those shocking things that we don't have anymore. The suspense that you don't have that. Um, yeah, man. I remember when that happened, bro. It, it got it. I think it had. It didn't get spoiled for me. I was working at the time, mm -hmm. so I missed the raw when when the split happened, and then. Um, the girl I was dating at the time was also watching yeah. it for me, and she told me like, "Yo, the shield broke up," and I was like, "No, they didn't." But right, you don't, like, you don't want to believe yeah, that. Yeah, I was like, you don't want to believe like, that. I was like, I was like, what? I was like, really? I was like, yeah, they broke up the shield. Yo, that that like span was ill, man. I just wish like, I, yeah. it was. Do you cool. think it was it, too it, early? No, no. I mean, they did a lot. I mean, as a as a as a as a group, I just feel like they should have did the like the like at least one of them should have been champ as the shield. You know, like when they did the comeback, that was like cool too. But it got spoiled because of like all that crazy shit. So yeah, they did a few comebacks. Like I just noticed that it kept like they kept bringing them together, whether it was two out of three or yeah, the three yeah. of them. And I'm like, we can't. It's almost you couldn't digest it. You couldn't miss yeah. them. Because it was always a remnant of hell. Look at Roman. Roman had the gear and the song. You can't miss them. Yeah, I want to miss it, right. I want to miss it. Yeah. So, I, so when it comes back, it's special. I knew the shit. I knew the shit was fresh still because Roman. Dun, 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 yeah, dun, dun. like I just still hear the music. I still see the imagery. Yeah, I love that man. I, I, I hated them at first. Yeah, but that was like what brought me <laughs> back, man. Because there was a point in time where like I stopped watching. I stopped watching, so I missed like like. Um, like the Nexus, I missed like mm -hmm. like all that like like the Cena rise. I missed like all that stuff. And, yeah, like, like I got drawn back. Like they they drew me back. Like like that's like, awesome, like, dude. Like a, like like a, like an imbecile, you know. I saw the Rock was hosting was hosting WrestleMania. I was like, yo, I gotta see Rock at WrestleMania, right? <laughs> Rock maybe popped up on the screen for like five minutes. So I think I ordered WrestleMania that year too because that was before the network. And then after that, like I caught myself like watching Raw every week, man. And then that was when like Punk was on top, and, and yeah, yeah it, was, it was good times, man. It was fun. That's times. when G Kid said he got back on it was was with Punk because I took a break too. I got back in it like 2009, 2010. My friend Danny got me back on it, mm -hmm. and Fredo wasn't really. I guess he was sort of, but I would watch it, and then mm -hmm. he. I guess, and then he said, "See, I'm Punk bought him in." 
Mm-hmm. There's always a wrestler that brings you back. There's yeah. always something that brings you back into wrestling. And, and I don't know, wrestling's like, it's entertaining. You know, people complain mm-hmm. about it. They judge it. Oh, you watch that, you know, the F word. You watch that fake stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Like, no, it's, it's, it's what different than a movie. Yeah, no, nah, it's, it's funny too because 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 I laughed right because I got an aunt that like does that. She's like, "How can you watch it? It's fake." And I'm like, uh-huh. you know, "I'm like, yo, it's not fake." I was like, "It's predetermined." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, <laughs> it's predetermined. And she's like, "Yo, but how can you watch it? That's fake." I'm like, "Yo, how can you watch? Uh, how can you watch Die Hard?" You know Thank you. She, I'm like, yo, how can you watch fucking fucking um Independence Day? Like, yo, E. T. Like all the Star super Wars. all the superhero like, movies. <laughs> Star Wars, Star Trek, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah, like yeah. The characters. Yeah, the thing like, is we know because we we're, we're we're the type of wrestling fans like we, we know it's a work. Yeah. We just enjoy their work. Yeah. It's like, fun, bro. It's, I mean it, it's, it's fun. It, 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 it's uh it's fucking, you know, uh, what is it? It's they, what they say. It, it's ba- like it's uh, opera or not opera. What is it? It's, uh, it's soap opera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soap opera. It's soap. It, it's, it's, yeah, it's soap opera mixed with a little bit of sports. Yeah, a little bit of sports. Like yeah. you have the best of 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 a lot of worlds there. You know what I'm saying? And when you go live, I tell you, when you go live, it's a whole different thing. Like when you take, like let's say, like you know, a lot of women don't don't gravitate towards it. But you mm-hmm. take them live, they're like, what the f-? Like, this is serious. Like, this is, because this, it's a real show. And you look at the mm-hmm. production they go through, bro. Like, it's mm-hmm. actual people. You know, like, they ha- they're on a timer, right? You got to get yeah. this done. It's yeah. it's so fucking dope. And the thing is, it's like, I can, it's the closest thing they had like, to a circus. Because yeah, pretty of much. constant yeah. traveling. Mm-hmm. You got to respect that shit. Damn. Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah, I, don't, I don't. Yeah, man. Like, you know? Um, yeah, man. Like, um. I mean, I don't know if we're going to get, uh, I mean, I don't know where this interview is really going. I mean, we're just kind of just going. So, you know, um, just talking, I, mean, bro, yeah. I mean, like, yo, Love like, 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 yeah, dude, like, I mean, Enzo Amori hosts this, uh, this mixtape that, that I got going. So you're this. promoting that. Yeah. yeah. Tell me. Yeah. About that. So, um, my nephew, the guy that makes the t-shirts, uh, so he does, uh, like road managing for like rock bands and stuff. And, um, now, you know, due to, co- <clears throat> due to COVID, you know, there ain't really, there's no, you know, no concerts, no tours or anything. So this guy would literally, like, like he's gone all over the world, you know. Um, so in between, you know, with the COVID thing going on, you know, um, he needed to kind of, like, he needed, like, I guess it was, like, looking for, like, some, like, managerial work. And okay. yeah. he ended he ended up uh, becoming, like, a road manager for Enzo Amori. So, like, you know, they went to, like, Tennessee and did, like, a couple of, like like, shows and stuff over there. Cause, you know they're doing like you know the South they don't care about like like the mass thing yeah. and all that so yeah 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 so so you know so they're doing like like he was doing like like I guess doing the indie loop excuse me he was doing the indie loop down in like Tennessee and I think like they did Georgia or like some like southern southern uh southern states like, like that so think, yeah. yeah yeah so um the idea kind of came, man, like, you know, we're doing this magazine and then, you know, with the magazine, um, you know, Street Dreams, you know, we did this magazine, the first issue, you know, we did a mixtape and um, I didn't have a host, you know, so the second one, we kind of, I, the idea kind of just came to me and I was like, yo, you know, um, let me speak to my nephew and see if, you know, if it's something that he would even do or even want to do, you know, and yeah. I, you know, but Enzo is actually like, like Enzo and 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 my nephew, they have like a like, like I guess like a, a good friendship. Like they I, they they get each other, you know. So it's like weird. So, you know, he did it just off the strength of of just you know awesome just family shit. So, so is it know, a New he, Jersey thing? Because I'm assuming your nephew's also from Jersey, right? Oh yeah 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 yeah. My, my nephew's so a Jersey kid. You know what I'm saying? He's I'm assuming it's a Jersey thing because Enzo yeah, yeah, yeah. also from New Jersey. So yeah. yeah yeah yeah. So it was cool cool. You know like he was just like, you know um. The day that we did it, it was weird. You know, I did have to kind of like, uh, I guess like, not so much chase it, but I had to like be like real patient, man. And um, so like, <laughs> so like, wow, like I'm chilling with him, like waiting to do this, do this tape. You know, he's like, they're editing like uh, a documentary for for OnlyFans, and, and you know, because he does like a um a wrestling school, 
and you know, I think he has like some type of like endorsement deal or something with 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 OnlyFans. So they uh -huh. were like, so they were like editing a video of like a documentary of everything that they were that that they were doing. And you know, I just kind of just sat there and watched the video and just you know shut up, didn't really say anything, let them kind of okay, like, yeah. handle their business. And then I think in between that time, I also like. Helped helped Enzo move a couch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I helped him move a couch in between that time, and then literally, you know, um, he did his drops like on my phone. So I just gave him the track list, and he just did it on the phone. And you know, yeah, all that stuff. It is, it is history, man. Yeah. So me and um, me and G Kid, uh, we got the first song. We did a um, we did a joint with 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 our hero debut. And um, I'm sure you've heard. Yeah, debut. debut. I've, I've heard his work. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we got debut on like we did like a cipher on um, on the Fuji's uh, how many mics instrumental. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we did like a little, That's you, awesome. you know. Yeah, we did like I think everybody had like twenty, twenty four bars, and we, you know we just we did. A how giant. did you do it in person, or did you like send it to each other? Um. So me and G Kid. Um, me and G well, I shouldn't say G Kid because I changed I changed G Kid's rap name to Genuine because he's not a kid no more. So. <laughs> oh, so is, is it a person? Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he didn't tell me this when I spoke oh, yeah, to him. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Nah, man, his rap name. Yeah, he changed his rap name, man. His rap name Genuine now. But um, okay. so what happened was uh, debut ended up like sending us his verse, and then me and G <laughs> me and G Kid got up and um, and we went and recorded it in person, and we went to like like a studio. Like I got a homie that um he does like uh engineering work for like Vado and uh like oh, wow. Lloyd, yeah like Lloyd Banks, uh Dave East and like Jim Jones. A lot of the New like, York rappers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, like, people like that. So you know, I had to take GK kinda out of his element. You know, I, I feel like it's weird, you know, when we do like the songs like like together, like on like the computers and stuff, like we don't get to just be artists, you know. G K doesn't get to just be the rapper and then, you know, it, you know, he has to be the rapper and the engineer, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, so to get him to go to a studio and him not be the engineer, uh, it took a lot of weight off of his shoulders because he sounds really good, man. Like, I be telling people about G-Kid a lot, man. G-Kid's like... Uh, he, he's great, he's, dude. Yeah, yeah. You know, besides him being just, like, one of, like, I guess, like, my longest friends, you know, mm -hmm. one of the longest people that I've ever been friends with, you know, um... I just think he's just an incredible MC, man. We had this like before COVID, we like started getting up and started like making like little like music together, like doing like 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 uh like just like some like uh, I guess like fuck around <laughs> stuff, you know, just some like yo, let's get up together and just just rhyme, you know, twenty eight bars over this beat, you know. I remember being like with because being with you two because you two complement each other so well. And yeah. I would join in. And we're talking, dude, we're talking 15, 14, 15 years, right? I'll go. Yeah. Yeah. And this is back that's, in Carney. Yeah, that's crazy. And I tell people, anytime <laughs> someone mentions Carney, you pop in my head. <laughs> so they go, and I'm like, yeah, I've been to Carney. Yeah, cause my boy, where my, my, my boy lived there. And we used to record music. And we used to record, because he had the whole, you remember, you had the whole setup. You had the Pro Tool. You had the whole setup. Yeah, and yeah. I remember just, because you, you're so fucking witty. You're yeah. such a good rapper. Like, you're so, and I'm not, you know, I don't bullshit. I'm telling you the truth. Mm -hmm. You're so, I'm, just, I'm like, how the fuck you come up with that? So goddamn clever. And then yeah. Fredo comes, and Fredo's a fucking wordsmith too. And then I will get on, like, yo, I gotta set my shit up. You know, I get on. <laughs> and this is me, like, 14, 15 years ago. So I'm a little shit, right? So mm -hmm. I'm fucking trying to get my shit right, get uh -huh. my shit together. <laughs> I don't think it came out all right. I'm not, I think it came out pretty good. I, I but you know what I remember? I remember? I remember you being nervous, and I think Very. Like, yeah, like yes. I remember you being nervous, and I think G Kid, like, like, like a like a fucking <laughs> asshole. He told you. <laughs> he told you about this. There was this one time, yo. Know, like my house studio sh sessions and shit were like legendary for like just stupid shit, just like asshole shit for no reason. It was and a that, chill vibe, was, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, like it was a chill vibe. Everything was was dope vibe, but. I'm like, yo, in those times, I was just, like, an unnecessarily a dick, you know? Like, I no, remember, really like, young, Come on, yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I remember, remember, I think I made I made a dude, like, walk around the block to, like, refocus, yes, I remember. To refocus yeah, you made his someone... verse. And it was, I, I felt so bad, you know? And, 
Yeah, like I feel so bad when I think about those times. But goddamn, like yo, they were funny, but really fucked up. But are you still friends wrong. with? Are you still friends with that dude? Oh hell no, hell no. Of course not. I wouldn't be friends with me. But nah, you know that that you know that was uh, my guy sincere man, and you know I, I always owe that guy an apology because that dude like you know yeah he invested in my first album man and. You know, when I was doing music at that time, man, I was, like, so, like, focused. And, you know, at the same time, I was also an asshole. So, you know. It, you know, so. It, live it, and learn, like, dude. You live and grow. Yeah, live and grow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, you know, it, it was, like, kid shit. You know what I'm saying? It, at the end of the day. But, you know, mm -hmm. um, we're not friends or anything. We're cool. I mean, I see that dude every now and then. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he'll always, like, say what up. But it's no, like, beef or anything, you know? That's good. Let yeah. me touch on this real quick. Bro. Like, mm -hmm. So I remember going to your place, and it's any time. I don't know if you have this thing, right? It's probably just me. But I have a thing where I love, I think I always think when it gets cold out, mm -hmm. I think of those times. When it gets cold out, when it gets chilly, I think of yeah. hoodies, just yeah. hip hop, just everything just, just, just feels good, right? So yeah, I remember going to your place, and I was around. It was, it was cold weather. Mm -hmm. And after a session, we used to go to the Chinese spot. Mm. <laughs> and you yes. said, bro, I know the dope, I know this Chinese spot. And that's what you do, right? <laughs> when you're when you're from like it's when you're from a city, yeah, you go to Chinese spots. You know, you've been to Amway, yeah. you, you know what I'm saying? You know what it is over there. Oh, show. yeah, yo, so, dude, man. Oh man. We used to go there and you yeah, bro, bro. So we used to go and you used to be like, all right, and we used to get Chinese. I always wonder, and I gotta ask, I, I think I know what I know what G Kid orders. I know what Fredo orders. He orders the 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 the, the, the nuggets or fries. I know his order like that because we we many times we we have Chinese together. Um, what was your order? My that's order, a silly question. I need to know yeah, what did you order? That I, day? I my nah, my order used to always be uh, at those times was spare ribs and French fries. And mind you, yo, okay. you know, mind you, let me tell you, like. I put Chinese spots on to the to the to the to the to the boneless spare ribs with French fries because they wasn't doing them until I started asking asking this one spot to do it. After really? that, it started it started to become a combination plate. Like I, I'm I'm they the named it after I, yeah yeah I'm the originator <laughs> of, of the spare ribs and French fries <laughs> combination of Chinese spots. <laughs> Yo, so if I go there, I'm like, can I get a uh, ribs and fries? And they go, no, we don't make that. And if I drop your name. Well, I'll be getting it in like 10 minutes. <laughs> nah, nah, they'll minutes, be like, will it be on my plate? <laughs> nah, they'll be like, you want a combination or separate? Now, now, like, like yo, like, yo, I, I put the Chinese spots on game. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Yo, you, you're fucking yeah. changing shit up here. I, I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, I, 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 I'm an innovator in, in, in Chinese food, you know? In, in Chinese food. Yeah, I'm so, you know what? I'm glad <laughs> I asked that question because I would have never known. <laughs> nah, yo, I remember when. When I first kicked it with G Kid, I think we went to the Chinese spot that was like, a, I don't know if it's still there. I don't know if it's still there because I went to his neighborhood recently, man, and a lot of shit changed over there. But remember, oh, we went to Carteret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And remember Carteret across the street from from <clears throat> from where he lives, there used to be a Chinese place there, like a real hood Chinese spot, man. It was a, it was. I think they even. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Dude, they, tore, they, they made like townhouses. I mean, you've seen yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, exactly. they said they put it out. Yeah. So he, he, I, we went there, man, and he was like, yo, let me get an order of platanos. And I was like, nigga, we in a Chinese <laughs> spot. How you ordering <laughs> platanos? Yo, I never knew a Chinese place to make platanos until until I came to Carter and kicked it with GK. <laughs> they make those thornes and stuff because yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, I love those thornes, bro, with the, with the chicken wings. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I love yeah. that, right? Yeah. So, but it's it's for damn boy. <laughs> you got Latinos, bro. There's it's it's there's so many that they gonna think of like, yo, we're gonna have to stay in business. Yeah. Start flying, yeah, yeah, start yeah. flying on plantain. <laughs> it's so like weird, man. Like you know, like I saw this shit today, like 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 in this neighborhood that I'm in, that I that, that I was chilling with my boy today, man. And I saw there's yeah. a there there it's Spanish and Chinese food together. <laughs> Damn, but that, that, that's kind of like, that's, so that's like, like my blue yo, bum. So it's like, yo, you can get like pollo a la brasa and, and an egg roll and, and, and shit. You know, like, that shit is crazy. It sounds like my family, bro. That's fucking pretty yeah. much gold over there. Yeah, you, you know, just get bending and, you know what I'm saying? And, and oh, bending? You get an egg roll. You get like, like, low main, like a low main and some bending. I mean. That's Ooh, fucking dope. Damn, that's, 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 that's fire. That sounds fire. I don't even eat low main like you that. You got to let me. 
when we're off the video, you gotta like let you gotta like let me know what spot that is <laughs> later on. We're off the video. So let me ask you this real quick because yeah. I could stay on this food topic forever. Um, yeah. So your rap name, are you still using the same rap name or not? So um, it was funny <clears> because um, I was thinking of changing it, like just because like I, I feel like I outgrew the whole like um, like crucifix thing, but then. Um, for a while, like, I kind of dropped the crucifix thing and started doing, just going by Crusa. Crusa, Cause, yeah. Because most people just do that anyway. They shorten, so, your, they shorten your name anyway. Yeah, yeah, they shorten the name anyway. Uh, you know, so when, um, so now when I did the joint, the joint that we did with Debut, he said, he mentioned crucifix in a bar, in, 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 in one of his bars. So I was like, I was like, damn, you know, I, get, I was like, yeah, I get some crucifix on this song, you know? So, <laughs> So it's like you like like Fredo goes changes his name. You go back to your old name. Nah, you know what? I don't even think G Kid didn't really like change his name. I guess when I was doing the track list to the first mixtape, <laughs> I just changed it because I was like, I typed G Kid and I was like, yo, like I was like, yo, this guy's not really a kid anymore. I was like, yo, yeah, yeah. but then I was like, yo, but then I put genuine and I'm like, <clears throat> and I'm like, yo, but that just sounds hard too. You know what I'm saying? I mean, mm -hmm. you know. So I was like, yo, I was like, yo, I'm calling you genuine from now on on these on these on these mixtapes. <laughs> and he was cool with it. I I mean, yo, he hasn't said anything. But nah, but no, that's but, the thing, but that's yeah. the thing too. He he did the um he has he's the only person that gave me a freestyle for uh for the volume one mixtape, which I can show you that right now, man. <laughs> yeah. He was, he was the only one that 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 did a he did a freestyle on this. I don't know if you can see it. This is a glare. Wait, that's that's the project you were just you were talking about, right? Yeah, nah, this is the first this is the first uh mixtape that came with the with the first issue of the magazine. So this one is the one with hosted by Enzo. I that's, saw you I that's saw me you on the cover. promoting that one. <laughs> yeah, is that you? This, yeah, that's me on the cover, riding the bike with Enzo on the pegs. <laughs> on the pegs. No, real quick, shout shout it out. Where where can anybody get this? Like uh yeah, so go to Street Dreams fanzine dot big cartel dot com right now and you can pre-order a damn i got that Where is it? you can pre-order oh here it is there's a we even got a pressed up version you know <clears throat> and you know it's all jewel cased all nice you know, oh, like, shit, oh look at that yeah, yeah i'll put, the, put it in the description if you yeah, want yeah. i'll put like the info yeah. like that's what the cd looks like you know? damn bro i love yeah. that physical yeah, yeah. copy yeah so we made like a collector's edition and with the magazine, I mean, these are going to come free. You know what I'm saying? So these are just pretty, just, you know, simple, just, you know. I see it, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. My thing is, like, I haven't, heard, I want to hear you rap, I haven't heard you rap in a while. Like, yeah. I, I went from hearing you rap, like, often, and then you stop, you, you retire. Is that fair to say retire? Nah, not even. You know what it is, dude? You what know, is it? Um, so what happened was, um, oh, man, so... 2014 kind of like happened and um you know um i had a relationship with a girl that you know also you know doubled as my engineer mm -hmm. you know and then you know things yeah. kind of um things kind of <laughs> fell apart with that but it ended so like ugly you know what i'm saying it ended here, ugly yeah. like like at the time me and my friend we did a um we were doing this like uh like a weed album so we did an album mm. about like like weed like it was like an ep like it was like the dopest shit like it was like commercial but it was like well balanced there was like skits there was like character would, you know what i'm saying would, i even got no 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 so it was gonna be an offset of hip-hop dummies so we were gonna we were gonna call ourselves burn buddies oh yeah, gotcha yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. so <laughs> so, like, you know, like, the name of the album is going to be called um, The L Ride. Like, yo, we did this whole project, nine jams. It was, like, yo, I had my mom on a skit. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, my mom did, did, like, a skit on the project and everything. And, yo, as soon as, like, yo, I had plans. Like, I wanted to, like, um, like do, like, like, like uh, um, you ever saw... Um, Maybe you probably catch this on Netflix. Uh, you ever seen like uh, Mac and Devin go back to high school? The 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 Wiz Khalifa and Snoop Dogg uh, 
movie. I've heard of it. I've never seen. I heard of it though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the movie is like, like it's like some shit where like, like Snoop's like a fucking like, like a nineteen year senior in high school, and just likes to stay yeah, there uh-huh. and sell weed and shit. But like the whole like movie with like Wiz and all that, it's basically like, like they did like videos. They did like, um, yeah, they did like it's like a musical almost or whatever. So I kind of wanted to mimic that a little bit, but not like. Like mm-hmm. Snoop and them, like I wanted to do like an actual like, like like movie based off the music and and do like music videos and all of that. And so you wanted to turn it to a, a production. Yeah, like yeah, a real... yeah, yeah, yeah. So like the album, I felt like was so dope, and you know, right as like stuff was getting mixed and mastered, that's when like like things just really just started to fall apart. So at that time, mm-hmm. I was like, I was like, yo, I was I ambitiously put this project together. I was like, you know, I did a, you know, I did an album, you know, I recorded things, you know, I, you know, had everything kind of ready to go and, you know what I'm saying? And things fell apart, you know, I even offered money to get like my shit mastered, mixed and mastered. Mm -hmm. It's like, yo, the sessions are like, and it's to the point that like, like even the sessions are just fucked. You know what I'm saying? Like the sessions are all like fucked up. There's songs that are like, half mastered and like yo it's it's a it's a mess dude but like around that time like yeah 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 so like around that time i'm like yo you know i got like just pissed off i was just like yo every time like i'm about to make a move or i'm about to like do something you know what i'm saying or i'm working towards a goal or something something comes in and hinders me you know what i'm saying so i got hindered and i was just like yo you know what i was like yo i noticed that like yo every time i'm about to do something something happens where someone comes and like fucks the energy up, you know? And that's what happened. So the energy just got fucked up to the point that like, you know, you know, we just like, you know, it like bothers me, man, when I think about it, but you know, we had this project that was like so dope and, you know, we didn't get to like put it out fully the way it should have been. And we didn't get to do it. And it's, you know, so like, I just like got like heartbroken dude. And I was just like, yo, you know what? I keep running into like the wrong people. You know what I'm saying? I kept, like, putting energy into, like, with with the wrong people and always finding, like, you know, every time, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just noticed that, like, yo, like, I just never had, like, the right people around me. And at that time, I was just like, yo, you know what? Like, yo, like, I, I was just over it. I was just tired of it, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, you know, I did one last project, which was, a um like, a kind of like a, a group project mm-hmm. with, with a producer from out of Germany. And, um... Wow. Yeah, so, you know, I got, you know, and that shit still gets bootlegged and shit. Like, I'll Google it every now and then, and it pops up on sites where, like, yo, I got to, like, trans like, Google makes me translate it and all of that. So, you know, it was, like, it was, like, a four-song project. It's literally, like, nine minutes, and there's only one, there's only one song with a hook on it, but, you know, and the rest are all, like, kind of just these freestyles over these fire-produced beats, but, you know, after that, Like, yo, like, that project came out, I put it out, and it got, like, a very good reception. But at that point, I was just, like, kind of just, like, over it. Like, at the time, I needed new energy. Like, that's when I, like, had just met um, my fiancé, Chrissy. And, Mm -hmm. you know, so, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I met her, and, you know, like, I changed kind of, like, just my perspective on a lot of things. And I was just, like, with her, she brought, like, this kind of, like, new energy and breath into my life, you know? So That's awesome, I just I just decided, man, I was like, yo, like I had something else in mind that I wanted to chase. So like around the time that me and my homie completed the, the Burn Buddies project, that's when I started, you know, um, during those sessions, that's when like the comic books were becoming this like thing that I was doing a lot more than listening to rap, you know? So that's when like my, that's when like my interest started to like waver and you know what I'm saying? And that's well, when, when like, waver... You know, Waver is a good way to put it, but you can also expand yeah. is another way to put it. Yeah. Your, your interest expanded a little bit to some mm-hmm. avenues. So mm-hmm. let me, let me, uh, I want to get to what you just said Um, before that. um, mm-hmm. What got, real quick, what got you back into rap? What got you back into like, because it was a few years, right? Since, since you had done it. Uh, yeah. So what happened was um, like, I kind of like, you know, um, so 2014 kind of happened, and then, you know, I met, you know, um, Chrissy in July, August, and, you know, that's when, like, I kind of, like, 
at that moment, that's where I kind of just like changed like my perspective. Like that time, that's when like the change of music thing was uh, was like my perspective on music was changing. But like before that time, the the Burn Buddies project, I had finished the the Germany project. It just never got mixed and mastered by my original engineer. So gotcha. you know what I mean. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I ended up having the like I ended up like getting a guy in like Indonesia to like. Mix the song, shit, mix it, yeah, they're like mix and master the song for like ten bucks, you know. Um, um, <laughs> that you is know something. Why, but why, 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 why'd you go so far? Was well, it to like... be, well, well, to be honest, the guy, right? He's a producer, uh-huh. and I was following him on 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 Facebook, and he kept putting up like, yo, he was offering his services or whatever. So oh, there you like, go. Ma- yeah, <laughs> so you're offering. Like, thinking... yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he was like offering, and I was like. He was off putting up like, hey, man, uh, anybody want a thing? Uh, inbox me, you know, the, the sessions, you know, give him uh-huh. everything, the beats, the, you know, the stems, everything. He's like, yo, send it to me. I'll mix it. And I was like, yo, PayPal'd him some bread. PayPal'd him some money. And, you know, he came through and mix and mastered the, mix and mastered the songs, you know? That, yeah, they, I mean, he was, if you seem that enthusiastic about it, why not? Yeah, nah, man, to me, because, like, <clears throat> yo, like, you know, when it comes to, like, certain things like with, with the with, with like my creativity it's like yo if i'm kind of like you ever seen that that video of um tupac in the studio where, yeah. well, where which one like there's this one all right, i i could tell it by what he's wearing he's wearing like this like black long sleeve shirt mm-hmm. and he has on like this gold chain and it may be a cross pendant or it may be the death row pendant but in that i was gonna say this is death yeah. row days right because it sounds like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to be around that time for sure. Yeah. So his thing was just like, yo, he was like, yo, we don't got a lot of time to spend on songs. He's like, yo, if somebody's freestyling outside the booth, hey, throw them on the song. Oh, what's the oh, last wow. word? What's the last word that he said in his freestyle? Oh, that's the hook, you know? And like, that's how I kind of am, where it's like, yo, if somebody's like offering, like, if I'm like, yo, I need a song mixed and mastered right now. And somebody, you know, if I'm scrolling on Facebook and somebody says, hey, I'm mixing and mastering songs for, for $10, $15, you know what I'm saying? PayPal, I'm and I'll, and I'll get it back to you, then, yeah, like... That's a like, steal, hey, yeah. Then, then that's going to happen. Then I'm going to pay the guy in Indonesia that's, you know, going to mix and master my record, and, you know, and, you know, that's it. He's in the Middle East, and I'm in America. That's it. <laughs> yeah, but with technology, I always say this, don't take, let's take advantage of what we have. Absolutely, absolutely. Would you have been able to do that 20 years ago? I mean, maybe, but it wouldn't have been that quick. Yeah, nah, nah. Right? Yeah. Now it's a click of a button, right? Like, boom, boom, mm-hmm. boom, done. Yeah. That's awesome. Like, so, speaking on the comics, so, dude, that's that's what you're doing is, like, really, you, you went into a whole different avenue. Dude, and you're, you're, it's, it's weird. It's like... um because to me like it, it core it feels like the same thing it feels like rap it, compare and, the two, and, compare and, the two and, for me because that's interesting all right because right, I, I i correlate i, I told g kid about this shit one time i broke it down to him and uh-huh. and he was just like he told me i was crazy for digging this way but i like i correlate it the same way right like yo you put out comic books right i'm putting out mm-hmm. an original character right let's say i put out a full comic book that's 20 pages Right? That's the album. Right? So that's the album yeah. right there. You know what I'm saying? That's the album right there. You know what I'm saying? Let's say I do like a mini comic in between that. You know, like a sit like an eight page comic or something. You know, that's the mixtape. That's the mixtape. Like I right, bet like 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 I just put out this um like with this uh with this comic book fanzine, they put out a bootleg story that I wrote and commissioned to get done that features like you know DC's original characters, so you know we put that out and that was bootleg and that's like you know technically illegal and that's bootleg. Well, that's the freestyle. You know what I'm saying? Oh that's my the, that's god! The I see what you're doing. You know yeah. What I'm you know, and then like yo, think about it. Then you got to go to Comic Con, right? Comic Con is like yo, Comic Con is like what Summer Jam. Right, and comic oh, cons, like, shit. comic okay. cons. All right, and then for you guys, I that couldn't listen, connect those you know, two. Then, then I couldn't like, connect think about those it, Think about it like this. Then you guys that think about like maybe you guys don't listen to hip hop. Maybe you listen to Z One Hundred. Well, you know what, Comic Con like it's like Winter Ball, and you know, it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yo, and then yo, and then there's independent shows, right? 
You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Then, then there's independent. Then there's like then there's little smaller scale comic cons and stuff, right? That you go to, and those are like those are like your club tour. Those are like your your intimate sessions. And like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like yo, it, it, it's to me it, it, it's the same thing as rap, dude. Like you got to promote it the same way. You got to like you, you know. <laughs> you got to do be a video, there. a comparison video of both. Like if you ever if you ever have free time, and then just do like you know like Comic Cons like I mean um uh, <laughs> the, the you know the comic industry is like this, rap yeah. industry is like this, and then it'd be like a funny little video you do. Yeah, then it's like yo think about it right, <laughs> and then like yo even in hip hop yo hip hop has first appearances, you know what I'm saying? Comic mm-hmm. books have first appearances, you know like like um you know Fantastic Four number one is the first appearance of Fantastic of the Fantastic Four. And then mm-hmm. let's say like live at the barbecue. That's the first appearance of Nas. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Hawaiian Sophie, the first appearance of Jay Z. You know, um like yo, it, it goes on and on. You know what I'm saying? Like I love uh, the way you speak about it, because the way you speak yeah. about it with, with you speak about it with this energy. Yeah. And I mean, yo, it, cause, cause creative it, it, mind it, it correlates that way. I don't know. I correlate it that way, man. No, but no, but the way you said it, you were just like boom, 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 all the examples. And I'll do like the same thing, like like with comedy. It's like when I speak about comedy, I'm like, oh, but it's like this. I get like a fucking twinkle mm-hmm. in my voice. It's like I get <laughs> I get excited. Yeah, man. I mean, like yo, I, I love it, man. I like the comics, man. It's just like yo, I just feel like I don't really feel that appreciated in the comic game, like just yet. Like, I put out stuff, like, a lot of stuff. Like, I've worked, like, really hard the last four years, man. And yeah. it's like, you know, and I've grinded for, for you know, every little bit of it, you know? Where, mm. sh- 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 shout out where you could get um, where you could get your comics at, like. Uh, again, you can get them on Big Cartel. So that's under my dummy comics. That's D-U-M-M-I-E comics, I-N-C. That's where you can get my original work, you know? Do me a good, favor. A lot of good stuff on there. I Will we get in, all? I can throw Message me. Message me where to get it so I can put it on your video when I promote this video. I got you, man. Okay? I'm, I'm, you down for that? You down for that? Absolutely. I'm going to okay. put it in the comments yeah. right now. Beautiful. Put in the comments so then I'm going to put it so then, you know, whoever is under my my list or whatever, they could see it and they could go and check it out. And I want to I want to check out the comics. Um I I read like um like um like like synopsis of the com- I haven't read the comics yet, but I read like synopsis of them. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. And you have one. I I know you have one, and it's a poem. You said it's a poem. No home. Home. Yeah, 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 yeah. Home. Okay, yeah. home. I thought you said poem. And I love that you made that a poem. You, you did a poem. It's like, did I do? A poem? I was like a poem. I was like, wait, what? Dude, you, you're taking this rhyming shit a little too seriously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You make your poem. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I like I like in home where you made like the characters like Hispanic characters. Yeah, man. Well, home is based like, on is, is the the backstory to home is it's based on my best friend's house growing up. So my best friend is that Geo? Is, is that Geo? Yeah, that's Geo, the same guy that that you know I, that I saw Raw with for the first time. Mm-hmm. I also heard yep. my I also heard my first DJ Clue mixtape with that guy too. So wow, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those <laughs> a lot of firsts, man. A lot of firsts. Man. <laughs> well, that's awesome, dude. Yeah, but yeah. I, I love that you did it because it's like you know, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you're 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 in, you're in the you're in the industry, so you could tell me. But mm-hmm. there isn't maybe a lot of Hispanic representation in comics, are they? Um, I mean, there's characters. There's a lot of okay. characters. Yeah. You know, um, like the first <clears throat> Puerto Rican character is White Tiger, and um, oh, okay. Yeah, if you look him up, it's, you know, really interesting. You know, uh, Puerto Rican from the Bronx does kung fu. You know what I'm saying? It's fire. Okay. It's dope. It, it's, um, you know, they, they put him in, like, backstories in Spider-Man comics back in the day. I guess nobody just took to the character, unfortunately. But, you know, then you got Miles Morales, who's also half black, half Puerto Rican. That's I mean, Spider-Man. This, this, yeah, yeah, that's Spider-Man. Yeah. You know, um, there's a lot of, uh, there's, like, like they're low level characters, unfortunately, man. Nobody's really there's people out there that are doing um like Spanish stuff. There's there's a comic called La Boricena. So it's kind of oh. like a like it's almost like a like a Puerto Rican Wonder Woman if I was to compare it to anything. Holy shit, dude. That's awesome, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, so um shout out to my guy Gardo. I know the creator of it. Um it's a pretty good good guy, you know. He's uh done comics with John Leguizamo, uh DMC from Run DMC, so you know. So the so the Latino um 
the Hispanic comic book community. It's 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 there. Like the it, presence is there. It is there, man. It, it it I feel like it'll take. It, it's gonna take like like the right character to 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 I guess break through. I mean, you know, a lot of a lot of kids love Spider Man and they love you know Miles Morales, but they're never gonna get into like you know real issues that 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 you know that the regular you know Puerto Rican or Hispanic you know person in America is dealing with today. They're never gonna touch on it correctly, you know. Of course, yeah, so, no, no, I get it, yeah. So I feel like there's a lot of like on, on the independent scene. There's a lot of you know Hispanic creators, a lot more than than what you would think. You know, when I first got into comics, um, I didn't know that it was such a thing because when I got in the game and people started to find out that I was, you know, Hispanic, that I was Puerto Rican, yeah, it, it became like a, like I guess like a, like a, like a bigger thing than, than you know what I intended. It became this kind of like this like focus. They're like, no, like, like you know, like people felt like they could champion us, I guess, and you know, and I felt for a little while that you know we were championed. As you know, like people were like, yo, you know, like, yo, this is a big thing. Like, no, this is like, you know, people were like, yo, you could take, you know, this somewhere and do something. You could do something with it, you know, and that's, you know, it, I, I, to the point that I do have a character that I've written the story for. I just haven't really found the, the right artist to do it, but I do have a, a Puerto Rican character that I feel like will blow shit up, but. I haven't found the uh, awesome, yeah. I haven't found the right uh, the right artist to do it because I have this like thing where it's like I'm the writer, so I'm 100% Puerto Rican. My editor is my fiance; she's 100% Puerto Rican. There you go. Represent, yeah, so, bro. so so you know, as so a the Puerto Rican, so, I will be so, very yeah. and myself, I will be very yeah. like a fucking yeah, it's yeah, dope. yeah. It's great so, to see. Yeah. So you know, I just haven't found um, a Puerto Rican artist, man. I, I, I want someone that that you know. You know, knows what you know. Newark looks like Newark, New Jersey looks like. And at the same time, mm -hmm. I want I want somebody to be able to draw Fajardo too. You know, so yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. So yeah, so yeah. Damn, that's awesome though. So you yeah, really so, want to keep the authenticity, then? That's, yeah, yeah. Like I want someone. It. Like I want someone that's going to to know you know what it's what they're drawing, and at the same time. You know, feel the words that 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 are that are being you know that that is, that are you know that are basically going to be coming from the drawing's mouth. You know, correct. It's, it's yeah. just one of those wow. things, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, before, we're gonna wind down in a few minutes, but uh, let me. What is the biggest name you've met in the comic industry? The biggest name? Um, yeah. I would have to say that you were like, whoa. I, like I, I, that I was like, whoa. Um, yeah, I met. George Perez, which is he's a he's a legend. He's a who is he? He's well, the, well, he's he's also Puerto Rican. He's also Puerto Rican. So he's he's drawn everyone from Superman, Green Lantern. I mean, if you Google this, if you Google his name, George Perez, uh, uh, yeah, George Perez, mm -hmm. everything that that you will ever see that's come from this man's hands, you know, is on that. Uh, would be in that Google search, and he's like I said, he's drawn every character. Like there isn't, there isn't a character that he hasn't drawn, that you know hasn't been mind blowing. <laughs> wow! And where yeah. did you meet him? Did you meet him like at a convention or? Uh yeah. So we we did the, <laughs> like so the furthest convention that we've done is um, we did C two E two in Chicago, and C two E two is like maybe the 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 third biggest uh, Comic Con in America. Wow. So like it's put on by the same people that put on New York and San Diego Comic Con. Those are those are the top two, right? Yeah, those are the big two. Gotcha. And, um, so we we did we went to Chicago. We you know we we, we tabled at the event, and um, George Perez was there, and he happened to be on his um, retirement tour because he's no longer a you know uh, uh, active artist. So, um, you know, because he is old, you know, he is a lot older and had a lot of uh, health issues and stuff. Yeah. So, um, you know, so I tried meeting him a couple times during like the duration of the of the four day of the four day experience. And, yo, know, his line literally wrapped around like the whole like event, like the event is put on in like a convention center. And I don't know if you've ever been to like a huge convention center, but imagine like 
an airplane hangar and just a bunch of tables and like oh, you anything know, yeah. you can think of from video games to like everything. And you know, and you. yeah, so this guy had the place like like yo, to the point that they cut people off and were like, yo, come back tomorrow. So the, the viewers gonna cut off bro four seconds. Uh -huh. I'll come right. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I gotta learn how to time these things better, dude. They only give me an yeah. hour. I'm still <laughs> nah, learning. You're good. You're good. I'm still learning. <laughs> yeah. Man, now, what were you saying? Were, I don't even. I don't even remember. What you said? You said the size of the convention center. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it was huge. So you know, they they cut the lines off and basically, uh, they 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 had like security like stand there and basically like yeah. Like come back tomorrow. Like it's not happening. <laughs> so you didn't meet him that day. No, nah, no, nah, I met him literally the last day. Um, the convention starts at like twelve, but if you, you know, if you're like tabling or you know, if you're, you know, uh, um, what is it called? I forgot the word, but yeah. I guess like a merchant or whatever. You know, they let you in early, so well, you're selling stuff, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that it? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, we went in early and. By the graces of God, man, like George Perez was actually there, you know, at like nine wow. o'clock in the morning, you know, bless his heart, man. This guy was just there, like, yo, signing for, for other people that basically did the same thing that, you know, like other people that basically, you know, were collectors and stuff, but also creators. And they got to meet him. And, you know, he like kissed my fiance in front of me. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> kissed the, kissed my fiance in front of me, you know. Um signed my books. He told him I was Puerto Rican and he was like, Yo man, I'm glad that I inspired the next generation. He was like, Yo, keep it going. Wow. And, you know, gave kind words, but you know, took a picture with him. It was, you know, one of my favorite moments. It was probably my favorite moment of like the whole convention, you know, so that's incredible, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, but on that note, that that's a that's a great way to to wrap it up, brother. Is it? I don't know, man. I feel like we didn't talk about everything, man. I wanted to like go in. I wanted to talk about like Empire, man. I saw the the um the G Kid episode, man, and I was so happy to watch it, man. And like, I appreciate G -Kid, that. Yeah, hear, yeah, hear G Kid's perspective, man. That like, yo, if you got like some time, like I'm cool, dude. We don't got to do just an hour. We can talk for a quick second, man. Like, I want to like I, I want to talk. Gotta... I want. You got to go somewhere or something? You, you I got to, yeah, because I, I, I got to go see my mom. That's the thing. Ah, no, nah, I got you. Say no more, man. Say no more. So, then, yo, we definitely can we, can we do this again? again? Absolutely, we can do this again. <laughs> ah, beautiful. Beautiful then, bro. <laughs> yeah, Listen, yeah, yeah, I, man. I, I, I'm wanted gonna... touch, I wanted to touch on that history, man. Like, damn, man. We got so... Now yeah, we go. We I, go. Think, I, th I think we spent more time on Owen Hart than we did. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We spent, like, what, like 20 minutes? At least, like man, 10, 15, at least. 20 minutes on it. Yeah, man. I think we gave. I think I gave like light to to Chinese food more than anything. But we did. But you know what? That's I like when the conversation went. The conversation went so many different ways and yeah, whatever. But absolutely, absolutely. But I gotta, I gotta time this better. But I'm, I'm, damn, mm. I wish I, I'm just like I. Scan lay. I'm sorry, dude. Nah. But I got have to. I, I got you, man. It's all good, man. Good, I'm new at doing good. this, dude. I'm, I'm completely new at this, mm -hmm. and you know, I'm just trying to start something just fun. Yeah, nah, nah, it's all good, man. It's dope, man. <laughs> I like it. I man. appreciate it's it, dope. brother. Yeah, man. Like I said, man, I just like that G Kid episode a lot, man. I gotta watch the the other ones too, man. But um, ah, yeah, thanks man. for the love, dude. And try, I got, I got to, I got to listen to more to your stuff, your new stuff, and I got to get up on your comic. So I'm gonna put the link and everything so everybody knows where to get the. Absolutely. Get the man. material. Absolutely, man. Uh, All right. Next, so, next up is going to be fun, man. It's different, man. It's a lot more. Oh, absolutely. It's a, it's a lot more polished and a lot more refined, man. It's going to be dope, man. No, of course, bro. Can't wait to have you on again. So, is it Kalani or Krusa? Kalani. <laughs> Got it, bro. Nah, we can do both. We can do both, man. Don't matter, man. People, I mean, 
I'll put Kalani. I'll put Kalani for now. Because, you know, Kalani care about Yeah. <laughs> Kalani, thank you, brother. Appreciate yeah. it so much. Man, we're going to talk again. We got to do this again. I loved it. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Absolutely. Let's do it. <laughs> Take care, brother. All right, man. You have a good one. You too, brother. Bye. All right, man. <laughs> and a big, big thank you to the homeboy Kalani for coming on. I really appreciate it. Um, that wraps up another episode of Personable. And uh, check out his music. He's a fantastic rapper. Uh, he has um, new music out. And his comic book company. He has a bunch of comic books that he's written. And it's fantastic. Just uh, I'm going to have all the link descriptions in the link below. Uh, where you can find all his stuff. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Everybody, please stay safe.